Hey YouTube, so an update on the Prusa i3 Mark II bed. Um, so I was about to run the calibration print that I created the other day and I thought let me test the rods again and here we go, look at this. So, as you can see they are much further in now. There's the two of them. A bit of dust on top of here. Um, so I literally just pushed with a bit of force and they actually did kind of click in. So I thought they were in but to be fair, the other sides were the same distance out as these, but obviously that still can make a minute difference. So they've all been pushed in firmly now. Um, in fact, these zip ties could probably be tightened, but they're not going to lift up anyway. Um, so yeah, the rods are down, so what I'm going to do is do um, a couple of little test calibration prints, and we'll see how they do. Um, get the live Z adjustment down, because they probably will have to go maybe a couple of millimeters down now and we see it will we will see where we're at so I've just heated it to uh, PLA preheat I'll do that and I'll be back in a moment and we'll see how we are okay so I did the Prusa calibration that comes with it um, and I'll just zoom in now so we can see so it starts up here um, and as you can see I come in this is whereabouts it has that dip so look it starts thick a bit too thick there but probably just because it started like that and here it goes very thin almost as if the not not under extruding but like the um, nozzle is too high from the bed so then we come along here um, once we come down it starts to get better so see this next horizontal line see if I can zoom in here and focus is it going to focus? Mm, ok that will do anyway you can see that's quite a nice line um, might even look too low there but from up here it doesn't look too bad actually at all but as you can see it's a bit thicker there than it is over there also so come down to the next line and that's probably a bit too close to the bed if anything although it tapers off slightly there come down here and again it gets a bit fatter um, that's a bit nicer not quite as fat as that line there um, quite a nice line this one here, not bad again, pretty smooth all the way through, and then finally down here, let's focus here, and we can see that's not too bad either. So I think my rabbit is making a lot of noise right now. Um, so yeah, so it looks like there's still some type of warpage around here. Um, I'm not sure what that could be, although. I, I mean, I thought about maybe I could loosen this screw and push it up slightly, but then this bit here is fine, it's just over here we need it up. So, I don't really want, in fact, no, over there, sorry, it's even further, isn't it? Um, so, I'm not too sure what to do about that. So, what I might do next is do my own calibration print with all the circles around, see how that comes out, um, and, yeah, see how we, how we do. Because, um, obviously, at the moment, I've got it set to... Uh, bed level, like the manual level in. Um, so let's have a look what we've got. Uh, calibration. Um, bed level correct. So here, so we've got uh, it to be 50 on the left hand side, and then so basically it's like the equivalent of the bed being lower on the left hand side. Um, sorry, the bed coming up on the left hand side, and the bed going down slightly on the right hand side, or the nozzle going down slightly on the left hand side and it coming a bit higher on the right hand side and also on the front um, so I guess we're just going to have to try my test print and see how that comes out I think um, oh, also looking at it it's actually the last line here in fact you can see the last line here that was very thin as well well thinner anyway just feeling it, it definitely feels like there's not as much there Okay, I'll do, I'll do the circles and I'll see what happens. See you in a bit. Okay guys, so this has finished. Um, and as you can see, it's not actually looking too bad at all. Um, a couple of little bits which I'll point out now. So basically it starts with the top left. And as you can see, that's pretty decent. Slight gap at the bottom there. Um, this one, again, looking quite nice. Um, down here quite nice and pretty much all along the front is looking good there's a few gaps on the edges of a couple of them but I'm more inclined to think that's just 
happens to be with this circle because a lot of them are like that. Um, in the middle, in the center, so we've got we've got a nice one there, bit rough. Uh, this one's pretty rough, so I wonder if that one is slightly higher on the bed there. Uh, see, it looks like it's been roughed up a bit from the nozzle. This one is much, much smoother, except we have that weird pattern, which almost looks like it isn't, it doesn't extrude correctly there. So, if I zoom in a bit, see that? I have no idea why it does that still. Um, it's almost like this weird little bit, you know, I don't know, it's just hard to explain. Maybe it dips down slightly there. Um, maybe it's like a dent there or something, I'm not sure. Um, it's hard to feel with my fingers though, so I'm not sure why it does that. But it doesn't do it, or it doesn't seem to do it there. So, it must just be around this bit. And it was doing it here, so let's have a look here. But that actually seemed to print okay. A little bit rough there again, not as smooth, but overall you wouldn't be too annoyed with that finish on a surface. Um, on the right, that one looks pretty good also. Top right, again not too bad, a little gap on the left there. But then this one actually really messed up. Um, so it maybe dips there or something, and that's why it just didn't go properly there. Or maybe it's a cold patch and this filament uh, has to be quite hot for it to stick. Um, so maybe why. But otherwise, I mean overall, I mean I can use all this part of the bed now it looks like without any problems. So maybe putting the rods down helped slightly. I've still got those parameters set for, you know, the front of the bed this way, side of the bed that way, etc. Um, I don't want to do anything more to it because, I mean this one feels rough, this one feels smooth. Um, oh, hang on a sec. Oh god, I've got a rabbit escaping. Okay, well anyway, so I better go to go get him. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. So apologies for anyone who mentioned about getting the rods pushed down, and I was like, oh no, they are. So I've done that. Looks like it's helped slightly. Um, the next step will try and be figure out this dent, and maybe getting the metal ruler and using the torch behind it, and seeing how that does. So anyway. Um, Subscribe if you want to stick uh, on the notify for the next video and I'll update you with this soon. Cheers!